All right, and then we're just gonna flip. <gasps> oh my goodness, look at the difference. Do you see that? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, another video. In my last video, I used these same colors without any silicone at all. I wanna test the difference between using silicone and not using silicone with these specific colors. We're using the exact same colors. Let's talk about them real quick. I have a pyro orange from Golden, permanent violet dark, turquoise thalo, and quinacrinone azo gold. I'm using Amsterdam titanium white for my white. And for the gold, it is 24 karat gold from Extreme Sheen. Everything is mixed the same as it was in my previous video with the addition of two to three drops of the coconut oil hair serum. And with that, we're just gonna start layering the cups. I'm gonna try to remember as best as I can how I layered them. Cause I wanna have pretty similar results. At least not similar results, but close to the same order, if that makes sense. So how's everybody doing this wonderful day? It is staying warm in Detroit, and I am super happy about that. Summer is coming, and I really just can't wait for it to get here already. I am so ready for summer. But what is the temperature looking like in your part of the world? I'm trying to layer them similar. Now I know there's, there's gonna be some differences. I know I had uh, some pretty thin layers and the majority of the pyro orange was in the middle of the cup. So I do want to continue that. We're missing a whole color, you guys. My turquoise. Dang, it was off to the side of the table. All right, so maybe we won't get the exact same results, but like I was saying in the previous, I really love what white does next to the turquoise. It makes a really cool gradient effect. It lightens it up considerably. So I'll use a little orange a little of this nickel azo gold. And we will top that off with a gold that I'm probably gonna let churn just a little. Not too, too much, just enough. Then we can go back to, let's do a little bit more white. Now I'm not seeing any kind of crazy cell effects in the cup yet, but I think we will get some. And once this comes out of the cup, we're gonna check it out. And if we need to adjust the composition at that point, we definitely will. All right, so a little bit of orange. I do wanna fill this cup up, not quite as full as the last one, because when I did the last one, y'all probably remember, we splattered the colors everywhere, <laughs> so. This is just a test study to see how much of a difference silicone makes. So I know there's still quite a few of us that are learning, and I include myself in that number. Because you'll never know everything about a certain art form. So I would never pretend that I know everything, but I'm very happy to experiment with all of you lovely people. So I know I put white down before, I just put a base of that gold. Look at the cells that are already kind of popping up in that. That is wicked cool looking. All right, and then we're just gonna flip. Oh my goodness, look at the difference. Do you see that? Oh my goodness. It's got some insane lacing going around with that gold and the orange. Let me turn this so you guys can get a better view of that. Look at all the crazy lacing that's going on. You got the turquoise into the violet. Those whites are just punching through. 
Wow. Okay. I love it so far. <laughs> Let's give it a couple magic taps. It's kind of an inside joke. Mina probably knows what I'm talking about. The taps don't do much. They don't do much of anything at all. All right, I wanna flip this because I, I just don't even wanna wait. All right, we're gonna flip it and pull to the side. Oh my goodness. This is wicked cool looking. No, we're, I was thinking of dragging the lip of the cup through this, but I'm definitely not gonna do that. Oh wow, you guys. The cells in this are phenomenal. It's making this crazy like arrowhead V shape looking thing, but all these colors are just beautiful. I'm blown away guys, like honestly. Completely and utterly blown away. This is amazing. I need to take the heat gun to this. See if we can pop any of the bubbles. And now that there's silicone in there, we might actually coax some other reaction out of this. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is so gorgeous, you guys. So gorgeous, in fact, I'm gonna grab something real quick because I don't wanna lose these corners. So for those of you that have been following me for a long time, I used to have this thing when I called it a corner keeper. I just take edges of cardboard, and this is pretty thick cardboard, so, but it doesn't have to be thick but I love everything going on on the outside edges. I don't want to lose that stuff. So what I was going to do to keep the corners is when I pick it up, I will have this on there. So as you watch the paint shift, it will get all the way to the corner without really losing any of those cells. So we'll anchor that side, and I'm gonna bring it back. Now we lost a little off my edge over here. And a way you could have combated that if, if I really wanted to was I could have put tape around the perimeter of the canvas. So right now I'm just bringing the weight of the paint back to the center. I'll take these cardboard pieces off. That allows the, the paint that is right on the edge to flow. And grab these two other pieces of cardboard and do the opposite. So I'll just hold, well, hold on a second, I need to readjust this so I can effectively grab it with the cardboard. So again, kind of grabbing the edges here. I really love what's going on in that corner. Some of it's gonna roll under, and I'm okay with that. All right. And now we're gonna walk it down to that other corner, allowing some of this paint to kind of flow off. We have a lot of paint, you guys, so I'm not gonna be able to keep all of it, but I can keep the majority of it. All right, and now I get to kind of decide what I'm willing to lose, what I'm not willing to lose. I really, I think that's really cool, that really pointy geometric shape right there, interspersed with the cells within it. I think it looks really cool. It's very different. So now that we stretch some of the paint out, I do want to apply a little bit of heat to it. Because that typically allows the cells to open up even further. We got some really cool lacing effects going on. All right. A little bit of heat. It didn't do a whole lot. I, I am okay losing some of this. 
I'm pretty sure. I don't really want to lose that, but it might roll off anyway because there is a lot of paint here. So what I'm going to do is try to stretch it down that way. Kind of walk it down the center. You can see the weight of the paint is over on the side by my right hand. It's where it's absolutely the thickest. And I'm okay losing a lot of that down there on the corner. So I don't really like it. All right, so now let's bring a little bit of that weight back. This looks so cool, you guys. I love this one. We are breaking up that perfect geometric shape just a little bit. Yeah, I lost that little bit of turquoise that was there. And that's okay. We couldn't have let it try to dry that way because I'm worried that we would have had a lot of cracking and crazing going on if I did that. All right. I'm actually very happy with still with the way this looks because you have those really dynamic lines that really thick lacing, but within that thick lacing is a smaller kind of webbing of different colors and everything's just interacting really cool together. So I'm gonna bring you guys down. I want you guys to see this the way I'm seeing it right now. Now this version with the silicone created some really, really cool effects. I have the flash on just so you can see that subtle shimmer that that 24 karat gold put throughout the entire painting. Some of the cells are just really cool, dynamic colors, gradients. I love the way this flow just looks. It's absolutely gorgeous. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.